Frankly, she almost fooled me. This was not easy for me to see. This took a good day to analyze. All ideas expressed in this video are my opinion only. I have no actual proof that the celebrity has had any of the procedures that we talk about here. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill, and on this channel, we talk about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures. My goal, say it with me, is to lift the veil of secrecy that surrounds plastic surgery because everyone deserves to feel beautiful. If you want to learn more about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures, or you just love talking about celebrities and the newest beauty secrets, then subscribe to my channel. When I make these celebrity analysis videos, it's never to shame that celebrity. It's just that using celebrities as examples is a lot easier because they get more plastic surgery procedures. Please don't use these videos as a vehicle to send hate to that celebrity. Another reason that I use celebrities in my videos is to show you that Hollywood or any entertainment industry is an illusion. And many times when you think a celebrity or an influencer was born perfect, what you're really seeing is plastic surgery that led to that perfection. Today we're going to do an update video on Megan Fox. I did Megan's analysis almost two years ago now, and I think it's time for an update. Many of you asked for an update on Megan Fox after seeing her here in these photos, and I couldn't agree more. She looks stunningly, jaw-droppingly beautiful, and I definitely see some changes to her look, which I'd love to comment on. Let's get started on Megan Fox's update. Remember, if you want a more detailed description of her past procedures, watch her original video that I did that's going to be linked in the description box below. Megan was always a beautiful woman, as it's easy to see here from her photos as a teen. She was also absolutely breathtaking in her breakout role in the Transformers movie, where she was about 19 or 20 years old. Her beauty is jaw-dropping, even before any plastic surgery refinements. Now, why do I use the word refinement? That's a carefully chosen word here, as I believe Megan was already a raw beauty. There was no great indication for surgery, even by Hollywood's rigid standards. And yet, there was a significant amount of plastic surgery done on Megan Fox. In this video, we'll talk about Megan Fox's past plastic surgery procedures, and I'll update you on any plastic surgery procedures she may have had done since being in lockdown. At the end, we'll total up both her plastic surgery procedures from the past and ones she may have had in the present, and I'll tell you how much it costs to look like Megan Fox. This video is only on Megan's facial procedures. I will be doing a follow-up video on Megan's body procedures, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Let's start with Megan's natural beauty traits. I don't think that any of you will argue with me when I say that she has some of the most stunning eyes I've ever seen. Not only is her eye color beautiful, but also the shape of her eyes is gorgeous. I love the almond upturned shape of her eyes. I also love her beautiful smile and her gorgeous cheeks. She has amazing bone structure. Here's a before and after of Megan's first change to her face. Can you spot it? If you said her nose, then you'd be correct. This is her first rhinoplasty. Now look at the tip of her nose in this photo. Do you notice how she had a divide in the tip of her nose. And do you notice how in the after, the divide has been softened? Now it's not completely gone, as you do see it later in other photos, but it has been made less obvious. Now the lateral cartilages of her nose have been significantly shaved down. And this makes for a more narrow nose. Do you see that? Now the tip of her nose has also been projected outwards instead of slightly downwards as it was in the before. Lastly, the hump on her nose profile is completely gone. 
It's interesting that the hump was addressed. Usually when a celebrity is well known, the hump on their nose is left alone and the rest of the nose is made smaller or more refined. This is for two reasons. The first reason being that it's easier for us as a public to identify the celebrity if the hump is left alone. The second reason is for plausible deniability. Basically, the celebrity can say, I didn't have a nose job because I still have a hump. Now, what kind of surgeon would leave a hump on my nose? Of course, I didn't have a nose job. Now, all of these procedures were likely done in one nose job, but Megan has had more than one nose job in my opinion. As you can tell from this photo, her nose looks different. The main difference being her nostrils. It looks as though her nostrils were brought in and made smaller. Now I told you, Hollywood hates nostrils. Usually nostrils are made much smaller on almost all actors, whether they need it or not. And no one really needs plastic surgery, so I don't mean need it in the literal sense. Okay, you guys, calm down. Now her nose tip also looks smaller on profile, like they removed the very tip of it, but it may just be the angle. Now, the next procedure that I believe Megan Fox had done was everyone's favorite procedure, which is lip filler. The lip filler starts about 2007, and it never stops after that. And she keeps getting it to varying degrees for years afterwards up until today. In 2010, Megan Fox's look changes dramatically. And I talk about this in my original Megan Fox video. She gets large cheek implants, a brow lift, and a cheek lift. Take a look at this photo of Megan Fox. When we zoom in, you can see the outline of her cheek implant with the upper edge of her cheek implant where her highlight lays and the lower edge of her cheek implant where her blush is. On really close inspection, this definition is almost all from her cheek implant and not from her makeup. The second indicator of her having a cheek lift is that her eyes are narrow, whether she's smiling or in serious expression. This is also further indication that she's had cheek implants placed in there as cheek implants are placed subperiostally, where having them there would also raise the lower lash line. In addition to the cheek lift changing her cheeks and lower eyelid, I also see a slight change in height to her brows. I think that at the same time as the cheek lift with the cheek implants, they raise the tails of her brows from the same incision made through her temples. For Megan's audience, this change is just too dramatic. People were yelling, what did she do to her face? Why did she do that? She didn't need that. She had no deniability that she had done something to her face. Her look went from being naturally beautiful to that glamorous, beautiful look that looked operated on. People didn't understand why she would need to do anything at all because she was already so beautiful. Now, another procedure that I believe Megan had around the same time was an upper lip lift. Now, Megan has always had a small distance between the base of her nose and her upper lip. But remember, she did get that nose job that made her tip more upturned and stopped her tip from pointing downward. Now, in order to do that, surgeons have to clip the depressor septi muscle. That muscle actually pulls the tip of the nose downward. So when that muscle is clipped, the nose tip is allowed to project either outward neutrally or be more upturned. The only problem is there's a side effect with that, and the side effect is a greater distance between the base of the person's nose and their upper lip. My thought is that Megan got the upper lip lift in order to mitigate this side effect. The lip lift did change her face as well. She was still beautiful. She just looked like a different Megan Fox than we had known. So now we're going to get to what plastic surgery or cosmetic procedures Megan may have had since going into lockdown. Okay, so when I first saw these photos of Kim Kardashian, just kidding. When I first saw these photos of Megan Fox, I thought she looked almost exactly like Kim Kardashian. Like I did a double take because I thought that was Kim. Did anyone else think that? Let me know. And so I paused for a moment and I thought, there's a reason I think she looks like Kim. And it's not just because she's styled like Kim. Something looks different about her face and I couldn't put my finger on it. So let's talk about the changes I see. 
Her eyebrows look higher than before, which could be because she got eyebrow hair transplants, which she's done in the past, or maybe she got them microbladed, but they're not just fuller cosmetically. Her eyebrows also look higher. So I believe there's been a brow lift. Now remember, her last brow lift was in 2010. So it's been about 10 years since that brow lift and brows do fall. No lift to the face is permanent. Her eyes look more narrow than before. The shape of her natural almond eye, which used to have some height to it, has now completely narrowed and is much more uplifted at the the corners. I think the crease of her upper eyelid being almost completely gone, along with that very narrowed up tilted eye corner is a dead giveaway for what she may have had done, but let's keep going. I see an overall larger face, a face that is very full with a lower jaw that is fuller than before. Look at her cheek area. It's no longer angular and sculpted. It appears fuller with facial fat. I believe whatever procedure she had involved fat transfers to her face. All of these aspects that I've been talking about point to Megan having had a facelift, an endoscopic facelift, or a ponytail facelift if she went to Dr. Ko. Frankly, she almost fooled me. This was not easy for me to see. This took a good day to analyze. I think because I had to get over the mental block of the beautiful, youthful Megan Fox having a facelift at 34. Yes, I know she's 35 now, but the time frame in which she may have had it in, she would have been 34. And I think that mental block stopped me from really seeing it. But once I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. She not only looks like a typical endoscopic facelift or ponytail facelift patient, but all the signs are there to be seen if you know what to look for. Some of you may be wondering why she got a facelift if she didn't technically need it. First of all, a lot of actresses, actors get facelifts early on in their 30s, but it's usually their late 30s, preemptively to look young for a longer period of time so that they're eligible for more roles. Secondly, a ponytail or endoscopic facelift, they're one in the same, but if you go to Dr. Ko, it's called a ponytail lift is a beautifying procedure and you don't necessarily have to have any signs of aging to get one. The appeal of a ponytail or an endoscopic facelift is that the incisions are hidden within your hairline. So with a traditional facelift, the incisions are at your tragus or they're in front of your ear. Now she could have also had a traditional facelift with fat transfer, which would lend to a scar at the tragus or in front of the tragus, along with an endoscopic brow lift. But my bet is on her having had a ponytail or endoscopic facelift. Now, I think that Megan also had an endoscopic neck lift along with her facelift. We still see the horizontal lines on her neck, but those horizontal lines are actually pretty genetic and I still have my horizontal lines on my neck. Endoscopic or ponytail neck lifts generally are not overly tight and tend to not completely address the neck sufficiently in a way a regular skin removing traditional neck lift would. This is also true of endoscopic facelifts. If you have a lot of loose skin to remove, then a ponytail or endoscopic facelift is not the facelift for you, as it's not the facelift that addresses loose skin and removes it. I think Megan may have also had her previous upper lip lift revised during her ponytail facelift, as we do see that there is less space between her nose base and her upper lip. We also see a larger upper lip in general, and I think that this is due to adding more filler. Now, the price of this revised upper lip lift was probably rolled into the total price of the ponytail or endoscopic facelift that she had. Now, as a plastic surgery researcher, I seldom get lucky enough to get actual photos of a celebrity recovering, especially a celebrity who isn't upfront about their plastic surgeries, but it must be my lucky day because 
I did manage to find some photos of Megan Fox swollen. Take a look at these photos from January of 2021. Here's Megan stepping out with her man in her swollen glory. Now, she looks beautiful, but that is major facelift swelling, and there's nothing wrong with that. She was either thinking she wouldn't be photographed or she didn't realize that she had recognizable post-op swelling remaining. Now, the next time we see Megan is a good two months later, and by that point, all of her post-op swelling is completely gone, and all that remains is what is known as diffuse swelling. What is diffuse swelling, you may ask? Diffuse swelling is a thin, even layer of swelling that occurs after a face or a cheek lift. And it's really beneficial swelling because it fully fills in any irregularities or imperfections left over from the surgeries. It also fills in your wrinkles and plumps up your skin and makes you look even more youthful than the surgery made you look. It basically makes the surgeon's work look perfect for a good year after the facial work was done. And in that way, it could really fool incoming potential patients into thinking that they're looking at some amazing plastic surgeon's work when in actuality, they're looking at some amazing swelling. So for those of you out there shopping for a good plastic surgeon, Make sure that the after photos you're looking at are at least a year after the procedure. Let's add up Megan Fox's procedures and find out how much it costs to look like Megan Fox. Two rhinoplasties, 30,000. Cheek lift with brows involved, 20,000. Cheek implants, 10,000. Lip lift, 30,000. CO2 fractional laser multiple sessions, 20,000. Acne scar revision, 10,000. Lip filler ongoing, 5,000 a year for 10 years, 50,000. Botox maintenance, 5,000 a year for 10 years, 50,000. Ponytail facelift and neck lift with fat transfer, 200,000. Teeth bleaching, 1,000. Total cost, $421,000. A lot of people don't understand why a ponytail facelift is so expensive. There's only one doctor who's doing the actual ponytail facelift and he's the originator of that lift so he can charge a premium. And there are other doctors who do similar lifts but it would be called an endoscopic facelift. So what do you guys think of Megan's transformation over the years? Let me know in the comments below. Coming up next is the video that you guys made viral on the end of the BBL trend, or go watch my celebrity playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>